Okay, so that issue with the, <laughs> this guy over here, I think I got it fixed. Um, hopefully we'll get it this try. For some reason, when I went to go record the bug to send to the devs, um, that one also crashed. I don't know specifically what is causing it to bug out, because I thought maybe if I just mashed A when the, uh, oops, when the uh, Skeleton Spirits dialogue comes up whenever uh, Lentz is about to finish the uh, dialogue for that quest. I don't think that's it. And then I swapped out uh, Lint for a different character, because maybe he wasn't who bugged it. That also didn't seem to be the case, too. So let's hope it doesn't bug out this time. Because if I'm able to uh, move around immediately after the uh, cutscene for this quest, that means I've done it right. I'm going to actually go over here. I'm not going to read this out because I read it last time. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know if something is supposed to happen after that, but we did get the uh, spear, which is actually pretty good. It's four damage, but twice, so it's eight damage. Uh, we'll replace it for the saver sword, I think. Or maybe, yeah, we'll place it for the saver sword. All right, well, now that since we can progress the story and not be bugged out here, so we can actually take damage and we can actually exit this area. Technically, we don't exit the area, we just get teleported to a different part of the... of this, uh... little dungeon area here. Oh, also, we can use her. I wonder if the Taurus got lost was over here, too. I would figure so, but I'm not too sure. Let's see, we can use Lint over here. Ooh! Get some more pallets. It's gonna give him a blue shirt. Uh, oops. I want to do this. Y you know one thing I, I kind of wish? Besides the shirt, I kind of wish it changed uh, low skin color as well. Like this one, make him a yellowy bread, or like some sort of sourdough golden bread. Something like that. And then, then this, maybe like make him like a blueberry? I don't know, that's just a suggestion. Because the other partners, their skin colors get changed too to fit better with their palettes. Kind of wish uh, Loaf did that as well. We got Blue Loaf. I wonder if the last uh, palette for Loaf is like green or something. Using this outhouse, you must be kind of scary with all the spirits and stuff. Okay, um. Yeah, I didn't see that last. Oh. There's an interaction here. Looks like someone may camp here. Brr. Surprise it and freeze. Hey, what's that in the snow over there? Oh, that's my little sister's pocket knife. My family must have been camping here. Oh, okay, so the family's been here before. This is a forest, after all. And I think this is somewhat south of the Holy Highlands, so I guess that makes sense. Not sure I'd let a long tail kid have a pocket knife. They'd probably forget which bit was, a sh was sharp. What if this means they left? They probably headed home to now to warm up. What if they've given up? Lint, you're their son. They won't give up that easily. Besides, they came all this way out here to look for you. That's no vacation. Come on, let's ask someone in the nearest village. Maybe someone saw them. Okay. That's cool. It's a secret area to get a, like, salamander and extra palette, but also it's part of Lin's backstory. Or side story? I don't know. Just a quest that pertains to him. Hmm. I wonder who I should be asking, then. Have you seen them? No. I think I'll just look for somebody who has, like, a thing above their heads. Yeah, this area is locked out. There's a lotus over there. <gasps> uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to get here right now. Uh, let's use Chloe, I guess. <laughs> Why aren't you supposed to get in here? Another one of these. 
successfully defending. I mean, if you want to go for the defend thing, but I don't really like it all that much. Oh, this is where he is. Wait, so... How am I supposed to get here? Was I supposed to do that? Huh. Hey, maybe I didn't break the game. <laughs> or not break the game, but you know... I did that last episode. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, cheat. How you're supposed to get in here. And I guess you're supposed to get in that way? At least that's what it seems like, because I don't see any other... ways to get in here. Hmm, I'll just talk to Professor Beryl then. Get my voice ready <laughs> to do his voice. Um, what are you doing behind the trees? I was charting the area and got mixed up in a tourist group. Their camera flashes disoriented me and I ended up here. Oh, okay. Can I, uh, interest you in taking a look at this map? And please don't hesitate to ask me about this enchanting snowscape. So I'll check the map afterwards. <laughs> I like the two thumbs up. By Joe, I can see it in your eyes. The excitement and discovery and knowledge. What would you like to learn about? The flats? Frosty Flats is, unsurprisingly, the coldest region in the Royal Kingdom. Although scenic during the day, the majesty of the Aurora Borealis is incomparable. Once, a huge glacier covered the landscape. Most of it retreated over time. But there is a part of it still left to the east of the village. Oh yeah, I've been to there. <laughs> it's beautiful. <clears throat> that is where Shivery Caves are located. It's hazardous underfoot in there, though so few scientists have been able to explore them. Speaking of which, have you visited the Misty Woods? The locals say it's a cursed place, full of spirits. Sounds like nonsense to me. Although I haven't seen my last junior research assistant after... I sent them there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see, what was the other one? Oops. The village and the cottage. Ah, High Ice Hamlet. The perfect example of picturesque subalpine village. Tourists from across the land come here to enjoy the winter activities and take in the sights. And many are attracted by the legends surrounding Coldstock Cottage, even though there aren't any official cottage. Ugh. And many are attracted by the legends surrounding Coldstock Cottage, even though there aren't official tours. For the cottage? Oh, I thought the tour included the cottage. Maybe it's just the village. The current owners have remodeled it recently. Its appearance is much less foreboding than it used to be. But despite the modernization, people still whisper about angering ghosts, curses, and whatnot. Poppycock, if you ask me. Well, I'll go there for yourself. There's definitely all that there. <laughs> Okay. Now let's check out the map. Uh, Frosty Flats. Yeah, it is south of the Highlands, so that makes sense about the forest. And I'm guessing the part below is the ocean. Still missing some stuff in the Boreal Bridge. But I think we need that uh, grappling hook ability to get there. But we got everything in the High Ice Hamlets. There's still something in the Shivery Cave. And then, oh, Hidden Springs. But I think we need to get to... Looks like it's a part of the house. Okay. Also, uh, Holy Highlands, did I get everything that was there? Ooh, there's a Forgotten Vault. You know what? I think you need the grappling hook to get there too. So I won't bother going over there until I get that ability. All right, now let's see if I can find a good way to get out. Can we... Can you knock this out, Chloe? Nope. <laughs> okay, so I guess we just come back in the way we got in. Yeah. I feel like that's why the snowman is there, so that you know to do that. Um, I guess we can go check the Shivery Cave again. See the things that I can probably get. And then also there was that gate in Llama Village too that I need to burn down. Cause there's this thing too. I don't know if there's a way for me to like 
glitch up there. But there's definitely something being hidden over here. Maybe I can get over from that side? I'll try that. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe I can melt the ice with this? That's what it was. I think that was in the demo as well, but you never really see it get utilized. Let's see what this says. Looks like an expedition crew left their supplies here. There's an old note stuck to the side of the crate. Dear colleagues, I must inform you that the Professor Mustard fell down a crevice, but fortunately for our research, he's still alive. Was that the little researcher that Professor Burrow was talking about? He's been able to collect the most interesting data while being stuck down there. If you're looking for uh, me, I'll be recording his observations at the far end of the cave, Professor Carmine. Are these professors in their search for knowledge? So that was how I was supposed to get in there. Okay. I remember hearing a salamander over in this area. Don't know where it is, though. Down here, maybe? Can I go down here? Oh, he can. I was trying to see, is there a trail on this side? Oh, there is, okay. Didn't see that last time. There's a salamander. Oh, me and Chloe are matching. Also, Chloe doesn't save her palettes as well. That's interesting. Yeah, Yagi doesn't, and her and, uh, Dub. That's uh I really should work on that. Should I uh Yeah she does the same thing uh Yagi does too. I'll keep it so that we're kinda of matching for right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, somewhere over here we should hopefully find the Professor Carmine guy. Or one, I don't know. Maybe this way? Oh wait, does this actually take us to Hint Springs? I wasn't sure if it would. Oh, this is cool. This is very pretty. Oh, wait, I think my dog wants to get in. This seems like a pretty cool place to, to hang out. Got some nice little hot springs, a decent view as well. Uh, you gotta deal with these enemies though, so that might be uh, not the greatest. I wonder how you get into here, because I can't jump that far. There doesn't seem to be any lotuses either. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to come out from that side. Is this guy an enemy? Also, I hear a salamander. Oh, that's where those pears come from. I got one from an enemy in the Misty Woods once. Uh, I don't want to fight him. Well, I guess I'm going to fight him now. Did that count as a first strike? It did. Uh, let's swap out to... Yagi? Because they can... Uh... Inferno can get rid of these guys. Say X. The only one we have to deal with is the holder. But they're not too much of an issue. Let me uh, put on the uh, pallets for these guys. So Lint will stay. Put that on Dub. We'll put the new one that we got. And now we'll put that. Now everybody has their stuff. We can't see dubs unless we go to the, uh... Another spear? What the heck? It'd be funny if it was the same guy. So over here there was a salamander, right? At least I heard one. Oh, uh, I wanted to see what that pair was. So I think I have one already. Blue pair, right? I already have another... Another blue pair. I also forget that items have like types to them, so certain uh, 
partner just heal more from uh, certain foods. No one come visit me. Leaf stand on mountain, yell invites, but no one yell back. Think maybe they not here, so Leaf go to town and yell there. But they shut doors and windows on Leaf. Think maybe they not here, so Leaf go. Oh. I'm here, man. Fortunately, uh, Loaf can't go in the water. He'd probably uh, disintegrate if he did. Can I sleep in here? No. Hmm. Is there a salamander on top? Ah, uh, there's one right here. I thought there was only going to be one spirit guy. I guess there's another one. Hopefully this guy doesn't bug out as well. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I think I'm going away from it. Maybe it's on the top of these cliffs. Oh, well, let's go see what this guy needs. Hopefully it's not the same one. Oh man, this sucks so bad. What's what's wrong, mister? Name's Ted. I'm like majorly bummed out here. Used to love coming here for a spot of skinny dipping, but for some reason, nothing feels like the same anymore, you know? Well, did you do it when you were alive, or? <laughs> do you mean it doesn't feel the same as when you had skin? What are you going on about? I'm just a regular dude from Royal Town. When you had skin? What a weird thing to say. Okay, so, uh, can we help you with something? I hope so. I'm dying to take a dip in the river, but something stopped it flowing. I had a little peek, but a fire dude with serious anger issues chased me away. Was it Jester? I must have tripped over and blacked out or something, because I woke up here and the monster was gone. Yeah, blacked out. That's probably it. If he incurs that stress due to chill, I'd be in your debt, peeps. Enraged pop belly flare. Oh, it was one of those. But he's probably like a stronger version of the regular ones. Just up ahead. Be careful, though. It's got a nasty temper. But well, we can use a chlor to fight them. I think they're weak to mech moves, though. You can read some more ember lore. Oh, it's a lot of clovers. Which is good if I want to buy that, uh, Yagi card. The goddess saw all this and was displeased that her kind gift had been abused. She sought out the descendant of the old chief. She found him sitting in a blackened throne, still wreathed in purple flames, surveying his cold, dark empire. In a voice as searing as the heart of a fire, she spoke to him. I gave you this gift of light and warmth that you might keep your people safe and prosper, and instead you use it to create coldness and misery. You sit here with darkness before you. As I once sat in the light, looking out at an unjust world, are you not moved? But the Emperor did not reply. He had long since ceased to listen to the words of anyone. He believed the power of the stone was his, and his alone. Hmm. Oh. Is there anything in here I could use? Doesn't look like it. What did I get hit by? The one of those snot bubbles, or? It's gonna be a lot of damage. Uh, let's see what's the best thing to do here. I could try this. That's a very hard special to use. I guess I can use Lint's uh, cliffhanger. That one's a pretty good move. Oh, he's still alive. 
Holy cow, 10 damage. I know that uh, stat makes me take more damage, but <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, um, try Smoldering Spear. Oh, okay, that's an interesting ability. Or action command for that move. Oh, I just realized my cursor's on screen. I don't know if it just showed up right now, because I noticed uh, when I was editing some videos that it only showed up for that one part and then disappears. I just want to make sure it's not staying on screen. Wonder if I need to use this campfire to break something? Maybe we can break these boxes. Nope. Maybe I'm supposed to use it to jump? Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't know if there's supposed to be like a note that tells you to do that. Let me, uh, does it heal health? Uh, I guess I can use it. Fortunately, it doesn't heal anything else. I can't break these barrels. There's the pop belly flare up there. I'm gonna check if there's anything else I can do. Maybe the salamanders over here. There it is. Hopefully I can get back up. Okay, for this, let's have Chloe. Because if it's just that guy, maybe I can just put him to sleep. Or bored status. There's nothing. Thought there would be something, but oh well. Hopefully this isn't too difficult of a fight. Okay. Doesn't seem to be stronger than usual, but... Okay. Um... Guess I'll do Whisk again. Now we can get more experience with using it. Yeah, sometimes I can't really move it. It's, it's like really annoying. Like, it might look like I'm just keeping it still, but this thing, like, like, fighting against it. <laughs> Man, I don't like that move that much. Even when it's powered up, it doesn't really do that much. So let's go for Icy Stare. Put this guy to sleep. Board. X. Okay. I need a heal loaf. Let's use an item. Do a turkey casserole. And then she can do a breakthrough. Forgot that I needed to mash A for this. Cool. Thankfully, the only good thing about Whisk is that it does put the weak status on them. I'm gonna try the uh, a charcoal punch, would probably be good, but I wanna do smoldering spear on this guy. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, did I get it? Nice. Yeah, I think that's uh, currently Lin's strongest move. If, um, if I get both of the action commands right. Try doing it one more time. Oh, he resisted. I didn't realize that. I'm dumb. Um, I guess I'll just go for breakthrough. <laughs> Chloe being really useful with uh the board status there. It's really good. That guy wasn't too bad. Okay, we'll hopefully get something decent from uh the little ghost dude over here. Uh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> he wasn't a belly full of last, but we dealt with him. See, you haven't wasted any time. Oh yeah, my bad. Don't mind me. Now you ain't seen nothing before, I bet. By the way, this rage boon came flowing down the river. 
Must have, oh, you know what? Because I beat the guy, right? And it was supposed to cause like the water to flow again. Maybe he was trying to show me that, but the timing is a little weird there. Must have come down from that enraged pot belly dude. You guys take it. If you can use it, I don't want it. It'll damage my calm. It's successful attacks from low may anger the enemy. Okay. That's a cool way to uh, apply statuses on them. Listen, Ted. We need to level with you. You do realize that you're a good... Great guy. A great guy, I agree. What Chloe mean to say, buddy, is uh, you should try uh, closing your eyes sockets. And uh, feel the water flow through you. Hey, hey, that works. Nice one, dude. It's different, but it's still totally rad. Wanna join me? Uh, maybe next time. We're sort of on a mission to save the world. Cool, cool. Good luck with that, peeps. I'll see you around. It's got any more. And this is what it's all about. Never felt so alive. Uh huh. Yep, sure, Ted. Okay, so I think I'm done with this area. I can check the map. I'm still missing one thing, though. No leaf. Mm. I feel like I need to be doing something with leaf, but I'm not too sure. Oh, I got a level up from the fight. Um, hmm. Go for Will, I guess. That way I can use more moves that, without having to worry about losing any WP. Hmm. So I'm gonna need fire to get over here, but I don't remember if there's any fi campfires over here. I don't see any. Unless there's another way to access that, but... Oh, I'm dumb. There's a log over there. <laughs> Now we can get over here. It's probably the secret item we can get. Oh. <laughs> Expecting like a little cave area, but I guess we can just get the chest. It's a nice overview of this area too. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is 20 items now. That was totally worth looking forward to. Yeah, 20. Although <laughs> the uh, like the uh, 14 out of 20 looks like it should be moved over just a bit. Looks like it's a little bit too much to the right. Let me see if I can put this as a... Okay. Uh, can I fall down from here? Uh, probably good, but if I had a running start. There we go. <laughs> Thankfully, fall damage is not a thing in this game. Okay, so I still didn't find any of those professors. I don't know if I'm supposed to fall in a certain area, because he did say somebody fell. Oops. And <laughs> that time I did not mean to fall. Hmm. Maybe over here it looks like something you can fall down here. Yeah. It was showing the way. Ooh, more Ember Lore too. What does this say? However, the children and grandchildren of the first embers were not content with being keepers of the sunstone. They quickly became hungry for power. They claimed Sunstone for all of themselves, declaring themselves its sole and rightful owners. They raised arms to push ever outwards and enslave their enemies to build even higher. As their hearts charred and blackened, their flames became tinged with red, then violet, and at last a deep purple. Oh wait, so the embers weren't originally purple, that's interesting. And so, kind of like a curse, they became purple? That's very interesting. The purple corruption spread through everything they built, seeping into the air, the soil, the water. Light darkened, the warmth died, and the Ember Cities became dark, cold, hard places. That's very interesting. Oh. Is there a place I'm supposed to fall down over here, perhaps? You gotta go back down and there's a place to, to get that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I need to look around better. What I need to do is utilize this a bit more. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I'll use that. 
You can get rid of... I think it's Crowd Pleaser. Yeah, because I don't really please the crowd if, like, doing the things that the crowd wants. Uh, so let's... Let me sort this. Okay, another focus. Should upgrade my boons, too, but I think once I get the, uh, backpack upgraded, I'll go back to boons. Because I prefer having the options with loaf rather than just the small benefits that the... Um... What is it? The, uh... What the boons give me. Oops. Okay, let me see if there's anything over here, because otherwise I think I got <laughs> everything. There seems to be a path on the outside, but I'm not sure if that's just, like, visual stuff over there, or if it's actual intentional. It's probably just visual stuff. Probably not supposed to get there. Um, I guess I could check the map. I've gotten everything I can. Oh yeah, I've gotten everything, so I can head out then. So let's go head out to, uh... The... Holy Highlands, I think? Or the mountain top. Humble Heights, that's what it was. Just gotta be careful with the uh, loaf. Maybe I can feed him something. And a candy cane, I guess. Now I think we can finally do this quest over here. <laughs> Since we have access to Chloe. Oh. It's kind of annoying because you can't really control her when she's doing that. I didn't see that salamander at first. It was pretty well hidden. Oh, this is the incense burner he was looking for. Uh, do we hit it or something? I figure there would be some sort of interaction here, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, you know what? Maybe we need to burn it with Chloe. There we go. So people devote their life to finding serenity, but donning this headband is a much quicker way to finding inner peace. And, uh... Loaf equip that? It is? Okay. Oh, it's a psychic move, or a mind move for Loaf. Let's get rid of this one. Ooh. Guess I can let them know. Oh, we finally did it. We found that incense burner. We lit it up and it gave us a cool headband. For real? That's awesome. See, darling, I told you it was real. All right, that's great, hon. Now, can we please get back home? Just a minute, my front feet could really do with a massage. Oh, ah, I, I can't reach. Don't suppose you could mind, or you'd mind. Heaven help me. I think believe their home is like right there, so it's not too big of a deal. I think that's it for all the other stuff I can do with Chloe for right now. So I think I'll just head back. I think the best way is that we don't have to deal with going to that. The Frigid Cave again? Let's just go through the uh, Llama Village. Because there is a fast travel over there. And just take it back to, uh... I forget the name of the village that's in front of, uh... The cottage. Oh, you know what? There was another Llama near the Fisherman Outpost. I guess I'll go check on him. I did say that when we were doing the, uh, the race that I'd go check up on him. Also, since I'm here, let me see if I can get something to heal HP. Also, this kind of thing, too, I understand it's like the... the People are trying to tell you what they do, but I would kind of like it how 
it is in most Paper Mario games, where um, it just gives you the description at the bottom of the screen. So I don't remember what these things do. I think this one gives you um, HP. I guess I'll just take one of those. Also, I don't get discounts from these things, too. It's a bit of a bummer. I can get something over here as well. Does the uh, croissant give me HP? Yeah, I'll take that. Gotta put that money to use somehow. Also, there was that thing for Sven that I never really did find. Um, something about, like, fail quest or something like that. Oh, these are the things for the old one, too. I think by the end of this chapter, I'll uh, go look for them. Because I could technically, but I don't want to right now. I must have found us to sit. No, I don't think that's going to happen yet. Oh, we can go find Kokoi as well. That could be interesting. The misplaced tourist. Apparently they're in the misty woods, but I didn't see anybody in there. That's weird, I'm not seeing Sven's quest here. Maybe I'll talk to uh, Sven again. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did it when uh, I got that glitch. So I'm not going to read this because I think I read it in the last episode, or the last recording session. Okay, now it's there. It explains why I didn't see it, the Lonely Woodsman. It's a Saber's Guild, okay. You know what, what the hell. <laughs> Let's go do these other quests. Forget the story. So I guess we'll go back to... the town to go buy the, the transcripts. And then we can go find Kokoi. Who is Dobby? Oh, there we go. Hello, sir. Is your name Tony or Dobby? It's Toby. Look, I'm pretty busy. Can I help you or...? Ah, uh, I see. You're looking for a copy of Cl Classic Quest, right? No, actually, we were looking for a failed... Shh. I know what you're here for. Play along. Yep, yep, yep. Here you go. Classic Quest 5HM... Wait. 5H4M... Oh, it's supposed to spell shame. <laughs> That's funny. Got it right here. That'll be 60 clovers. Hey, the Toby, you can quest are only 10 c c clovers, right? Dub? Yeah, I was just, uh, you, you know, forget the money on the house. Well, thanks, Dub, for being a narc. Hmm, <laughs> classified document, log transcript, take five. Ah, I didn't see you there. Sorry, uh, very busy. Goodbye. Okay. So I'll meet back with the, uh, the Sven. Here you go, Sven. This doesn't feel right to me, but we got you a failed quest transcript. Hack, 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 hack. You have fewer scruples than I do. Here's the thing I found down back at the sofa. Monsters. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Now go away. I have some reading to do. Hack, hack, hack. So that would be here, I think, right? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alright. Next was, I think, Kakoi. Go find the Forest of Roots. I wonder if he's finding the lap wings. I want to see if he's over here, maybe? Because I feel like this is a good place to see him, since he was in the last time we saw him. And I also got everything here, right? I got everything in Lockwing Village. There's still something in the outpost. Somewhere... Sunken Spire's a missing... Uh, Salamander Soul. There's something in the undergrowth. And I don't know if I've been to Undergrowth Threshold. Maybe I have been. I don't think there's anything there. So I missed something in the crystal vines. <gasps> there he is. That was what I figured. He was doing some practicing with the lap wings. No! You need to be of the forest, not in the forest! Ow! 
You keep saying that, but you haven't explained what it means. That's for me to know and you to into it. Can I at least have my own leak to practice with? A practice leak? Do you think I'm a joke? Real leaks are for Kujitsu warriors. You can have a small twig. Hey, Kakoi, looks like your super special training isn't going so hard, huh? You've not even mastered vegetables yet? Mastering a new school takes time, Yagi. Some of us don't try to rush the process so we can miss about looking cool and playing hero. What are you doing here anyway? You give up on your saving the world quest yet? No, we're just uh, figuring out our next steps. Yeah, we're following up on lead shadowing suspects, blowing this whole thing wide open. Sounds like a cheap crime paperback to me. You're just jealous because I got friends now. You had friends before. Had you forgotten that I was the only one who would spar with you back home? Oh, maybe he's jealous that we're his new friends now. Difficult to forget when you keep rubbing it in my face. Uh, I excuse me, guys. Really sorry to interrupt, but uh, shouldn't we be going? Yeah, yeah, you're right, Lin. I'm not wasting any more breath on this guy. Such an ass, Yagi. I used to always wanted to be the best warrior I can be, and I used to think I thought you wanted to be the same. I do want that, but I don't need your help. Approve it. Why don't we see if your slow and steady process is done and good? Thought you had somewhere else to be. I can spare a few minutes whooping your butt again. It won't take too long. I guess we'll have Yagi out. Uh, let me change his moves. Though. Let's do... I'll make him have air palm. And... I think that's fine, I guess. Alright, let's get this fight started, Kakoi. Um, there you go. <laughs> Kids don't have to fight me just because Yagi's got a chip on his shoulder. You know that, right? Okay then, here it goes. This is not gonna be an interesting music. Wait, does he have an eye patch? Is that new? I don't remember him having an eye patch. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna add in <laughs> Naruto music again, like I did the last time we fought uh, Kakoi. I'll just uh, fight him regularly. Let's use Charcoal Pouch. Now we can get rid of the uh, Tad Beast. Oh yeah, that's much weaker than Vortex, but whatever. I can try Serenity Headband. Uh, let's do this first. That way we just get rid of the uh, Tad Beast. And then let's try doing this again, see if we can get that status on him. Okay, let's try Serenity Headband. EXP? Okay, that's pretty cool. It's like that one action command Yagi has, I think Astral Projection. I wish they gave him better fighting music here. It's just kind of a shame. It's a little lame. There you go. Like, you have all the cold Naruto ninja fighting music that you can think of, and they didn't uh, think to give him that. They just gave him, like... I don't know, the music is just not fitting for battle music. I really thought it'd be too strong for you guys after all this. But it appears as I've been improving, so have you. Yeah, though I've gotta say, you held up pretty well fighting on your own. Picked up some killer new moves. No, he didn't. Maybe that charge firing move, but other than that, this fight was not interesting at all. Ha. Huh. I got lucky to think for that. He's a terrifying teacher. You know what? He should have been implementing moves that he learned from other people, so he should have been doing like fire leaks or something. That would have been kind of cool in the previous fight. When we were in the ice place, you should have done like ice moves. But I'm not yet the warrior. I could be fighting you at times. I was frustrated. I need to clear my mind. I think I'll head to the ocean. Fight the strength that comes from serenity. 
Your travels take you that way and short cross paths on the road to victory. Is there anything else I can do here? Okay, I think we'll go back to uh, Misty Woods and try to find the uh, other... What is it? The Missing Tourist. Alright, now we're rested. Also, I, I forgot Chloe's HP is still pretty low. We can go in here. Open that up. I don't know if anybody's supposed to tell you about that. Oh, the solar ring. I think I have money for that, yeah. Uh, you know, wait, what? Let me wait until I get the uh, discount for this area before I buy that. So let's go find the uh, missing tourist here. I got to do a quick look around here, but I didn't see them last time. Oh, look, I didn't realize this note was part of the quest. <laughs> hey guys, check out this note. It says, to whomever reads this, please tell Frosty Blood's tour guide Snoof that I'm safe. He must be worried sick. I found a nice fishing hole in these woods before I knew everyone else on the tour had gone. But if you're reading this, I'm sure I made it back home to Holy Highlands, okay? I hope that my gold pair goes some way to making up for the distress I caused Snoof, Labby. Labby must be our missing Taurus. She sounds as airheaded as someone else I know. Hmm? Who's that? We folk who get lost easily should stick together. At least she's safe. Let's head back to Snoof and stop him, uh, worrying himself sick? Okay, cool. Yeah, because I didn't remember seeing anybody in here, so... It was just that note. Oh, dang it. Oh, Snoof. Found the person. I'll need to check if they actually do live in Llama Village. Hey, Mr. Tour Guide, we found your missing tourist. Hello? My missing... Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, well, well the good news is she's probably safe. She went back to the Holy Highlands in her own steam. And she said she had her... She hopes her gold bear goes some way to making up for the uh, worry she's caused you. Oh, good to know she's okay. I forgot the voice I was doing for him. But I cannot accept the gold pair. It's lost property. If the tourist doesn't want it back, you should have it. Us? Well, uh, for sure it's okay. That'd be awesome. Cool. Uh, let me go check out that fisherman, because I can't believe I forgot about that guy. Okay, here he is. What does he need? Lars. Dang thing, why don't, why won't you? Is everything all right? Her, I <laughs> did her voice wrong, my bad. Well, I just got all these fresh fish and can't get fresher than the Riverside cooking, you know? Hmm, that's not a problem at all, that's lunch. Well, it would be, but the dang fire won't start. My matches must be wet, I just can't get going. Oh, well, we can use her uh, little lantern. We can help with that. There we go. You did it. Just in time, I was about to give up and need my backup dinner. There, why don't you take it inside? It's a golden. We plenty, got plenty of room for uh, food now. Golden Momo. Okay, a golden pear. Once again, I really wish they give you a, a way to store all this stuff. Whatever. Okay, now we can finally do the... <laughs> we can progress the story. Oh, I have eight little guys. I should probably donate those. I guess I'll do uh, this. Give her HP. Just try to get as much as I can out of her. That way she has more health. All right, let's finally get back to this. After a long awaited uh, uh, sidetracking, I finally am ready to go back into this. You finally help your family out, Chloe.